Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome, and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, 1968 Land Rover Series 2A 88 inch petrol hardtop that, from its registration number, looks like it's a local car to this area or started life as. Um, two videos, one, one, uh, <laughs> one walk around video, one driving video, plus a bit of engine running action at the end. Hope you like them. Okay, let's take a proper look around this uh, 1968 Land Rover Series 2A, 88 inch petrol hardtop, finished in marine blue with uh, limestone roof and white wheels. Um, nice standard, unmolested, unmessed about with example. This one, it's a later 2A, so it's got the, uh, the lights in the front wings rather than in the uh, front panel. Um, I think it's got a matching set of tyres on it, certainly uh, the ones on the road. Don't know what the spare is. Let's see if we can see. Can't see what the spare is unfortunately. But certainly the road tyres are a matching set. Um, it's got mud flaps on the back. It's got tow pack with ball and pintle. Uh, this one's got the rare and quite desirable cat flap style uh, rear door setup, which means you can very easily convert one of these into a soft top. Um, but the cat flap style door is quite um, hard to find. It's also got um, a step on the passenger side only, not on the driver's side. And it's got wing mirrors. And inside we've got three seats across the front, um, original style seat belts, and it's proper late 2A dash and uh, floor mats and spare wheel. As you know, the spare wheel is not a matching type, it's of Redestein. Um, spare wheel mounted on the bulkhead as you can see. Right, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Oh, it's also got Smith's heater. Um, see what we can pick out. Paint is quite patinated, but um, personally I like them like this. But around the front end, I'm not going to go through every single blemish because obviously there'll be lots of them. But um, bodywork wise, in terms of dents and stuff, it's really, really pretty straight. And so I quite like the, the sort of older patinated effect. Had a little bit of um, touching up just here on the near side front wing, front corner. Uh, but otherwise, down the side, it looks really straight by, uh, by uh, series Land Rover standards. It's quite charming, this one. Oh, it's also got three wheel front hubs. Um, looking underneath at in there, if you can get an idea of what that's like in there. A post, near side scuttle corner, near side scuttle, and screens. Roof again, a bit patinated, lost a bit of its paint here and there. But she is, uh, what, 50, 53 years old, this one? Um, some electricity reaction on the near side door bottom. And obviously some bits of paint lost. I don't know why, there's one or two areas that are painted this darker blue and obviously been painted by hand. I don't know what that's all about. Um, door top feels nice and solid. Some paint flaking off the um, inside of the door there. inside the bulkhead and hopefully we can get underneath there seats have lost a bit of their color and i've got one or two sort of little nicks and marks in them here and there but um they are nice sort of original type seats really as is the dash it's not really been badly cut about or anything there is a sort of an extra switch over there for something but um not badly cut about aside from that Driver's seat, the base has especially lost its colour and has got some uh, scuff marks in it. In the back, obviously, it's done some work in its life. Um, quite a lot of uh, paint rubbed off and stuff. But uh, as I say, this one is, is, in my opinion, quite charming. around the tail end, get down low so you can see the rear cross member. A 
usual dent in the uh, tailgate from the um, from where it's been towing. And again down the off, uncannily straight for uh, for an older series two, two A. Some paint loss. Here. And again inside. The bulkhead side there. I like this, I must admit, what's it showing? 87,000 miles. Um, it, it just, it's not been messed with at all, I don't think. I, yeah, gets my vote. Anyway, my name's Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0818 907 1495, or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com. Okay, quick video of engine start up and running on this uh, 1968 Series 2A. So all the lights come up as they should. Starts nicely. Settles down to a nice, even, low tick over when it's warm. So when it's cold, you can detect a slight exhaust blow. We'll see if we can detect it now when it's um, warmed up a bit. coming from the, from the manifold downpipe joint. I flipped the throttle. Detect it in the, uh, the manifold downpipe joint there. So yeah, it's not especially noticeable, but it is there. But um, nice co period correct engine in it. May even be the actual original engine. It's got all the proper things like the, uh, the shroud for the radiator there. Just really quite unmolested. Very good. There we have it.